Hi everyone, welcome back to CJ Studio. Today I am going to show you how to make a math exercise in Scratch within a few minutes. Here's an example. Well done, you are correct. Oh no, you got it wrong. So this is what you're going to achieve at the end of this video. Okay, so today's goal is to know what A plus B equals C. So it's like a math exercise. We're going to use addition, but you can use multiplication, subtraction, or division. So our first step is to make it funner, like chocolate plus milk equals chocolate milk. So the computer is going to generate two random numbers between one and ten and give the value to chocolate and milk like chocolate is three and milk is five in the background it will calculate the result and give to chocolate milk chocolate milk will equal to eight because chocolate is three and milk is five and then and then the character will ask the math question to you like it's a teacher so yeah um, and whoever is doing the math will enter the answer. So, the computer will verify the answer if it's correct or if it's wrong. If it is correct, it will say, you got it right. If it is wrong, it will say, oh no. At the end, it will show you the score. But don't worry if you don't know these steps one by one because I'll teach you through them and I'll do that now. So this is where all the code blocks or functions are. Just like, um, let's give an example of exposition. And this is where you do all the coding. So you just drag the code blocks and you put it on the coding place and that's where the background is now let's choose a background i love all of them but i decided room one and then everyone starts with a little cat but you can change it if you like now let's get coding but first before we start coding i really want to show you these two buttons um the green one is to go and the red one is to stop now we can get coding. First, we go into events. Like to click, clicked block and put it in the code place. And now it's time for our next bit. And now going to make the variables chocolate, milk and chocolate milk. So first we go into variables and press make a variable. This one we're gonna type chocolate. And we're gonna do for all spirits and then we're gonna press ok as you can see it's at the preview now we're gonna make and it's also in the variable place we're gonna make another one but this time we're gonna call it milk and then we're gonna press ok and as you can see it's in the preview again and then we're gonna make another variable this time it's gonna be chocolate milk and as you can see i made a spelling mistake um yeah and then milk and then we're gonna press ok as you can see it's also in the preview but we don't want to show the answer so what we're gonna do is untick it so that as you can see from the preview just disappears and now we're gonna give a value to one of the variables. We're gonna choose chocolate first. But we'll eventually get to all of them. So we have to go into operations. As you can see, there's a pick random one to 10. We're not gonna change it, but you can change it. Um, and now we're going to go into variables again and get the same give it the value thingy block and then this time we're going to set it to milk and we're going to also do it to pick random one to ten 
now we are gonna get that again but this time we're gonna send it to chocolate milk and as you can see it's chocolate milk the operations now we have to do um, blank plus blank the very top and when we're gonna get the variable chocolate and put it in one of those blanks the first one if you like and next we're gonna get the milk one and put it in the other blank as you can see now we've completed step number one so our second step is to ask the math question as a teacher so we're going to make this cat ask a math question so first we're going to sensing and get the the little block that says ask what your name and weight then we're going to get the um get join apple banana we're going to write please tell me in the apple section next we'll next we're gonna get another joint apple and banana because we need more space to put things go into variables get chocolate because we need the value of it and now we're back into operation we get another joint apple and banana and then we're gonna add a plus sign in it and then this time now we're going to get another join apple and banana and go into variables get milk and put it there because we need the milk's value and then we're gonna write equals how much and then question mark now that step two is done, we can move up to step three. We don't need to do anything because whoever's just doing the math just enters the answer. So we'll have to go into step four. It's the computer will verify if the answer is correct or if it's wrong. So now we're going to control and in control we're going to use if then else. Um, and for that, we're gonna use that. So, um, so we're going to operations, and we're gonna get this one, so that it means the computer can verify an answer. Going to sensing, and as you can see, there's an answer button. You take it and put it there. That's what the person answered. Now that we're in variables, we can get chocolate milk is what the computer calculated. So now that we're done step four, let's move up to step five. If it's correct, say you got it right. In this one, we're just gonna make the cat say you got it right if you're correct. So we're gonna go into sounds. For this, we're gonna record our own voice. So we're gonna get the one at the very top and then we're going to press record press record and then we'll do my voice there we go now I can fix the bits up by moving these red lines and dots you got it right as you can see um, and now we're going to change it to you are right and then we can go back and from the purple block we can change it to you are right and, and then we're gonna go into looks and get the top one and we're gonna type in you are right so that it can say on the screen oh. and we're gonna do it for only one second Now that's the end of step five. Now we're gonna move on to step six. So in step six, we're gonna do the opposite of step five, which is if it's wrong, say uh-oh or oh no. 
So we're gonna go into sound again and then go to the topest one and we're gonna record another voice which is uh oh you got it wrong or oh no so we can again we can edit it with those red stripy oh line no fingers. you got it wrong and now we're gonna call it you are wrong or oh, wait no that's a mistake So it's supposed to be, you are wrong. There we go. Now we can go back to the code. Um, and what are we gonna do? Gonna change it to you are wrong. And then go into looks again, and again at the very top. But this time we're gonna type in, oh no. And then do it one second. Now that's the end of step six. Time for step seven. At the end, it will show your score. So at the end, it will just show your score. How many got right. And so first we're going into variables. And we're going to create a new one. Which is going to be called score. Um, then press OK. And then we're going to get the first one. Which is set the variable to zero and then we're going to set score to zero and because if this answer equals chocolate milk then we'll say you're right so we're going to change the score by one but if it does if, if it's not true like if it doesn't equal then it will stay the same now let's test it Let's see 6 plus 3 equals 9, so I typed in 9. You got, you it, right. got it right. See? Let's start, do it again. This time it's going to be 7 plus 7. We're going oh to write no, 15 you got to it see. Wrong. As you can see, it says oh no, and the score doesn't change. And it's because we pressed the that. And now we can save it if we want to do it again. I'm going to call out mine Math Program. You can call your Math Addition, Math Multiplication, Math Division or Math Subtraction. And so that's all for the video. Thank you very much for your watching and I hope you enjoy it. If it helps, please subscribe, like and turn on notifications so you won't miss any episodes. And also you can share with others. See you next time.